and welcome back to my channel if you're first time here please hit that subscription button below and be a part of the family well today i'm doing a updo ponytail and a swoop up the side something like yeah so i'm using this gel i'm using this gel i'm using this extra here strong wax also i'm using my got to be invisible gel i'm gonna use this Chris Tress Easy Z Stosh Braid. It's the ombre. It has the burgundy at the end. It's 32 1B. It comes with six bundles. It comes with six bundles. So I'm gonna use two out of the pack to make the ponytail. And also I'm gonna use my flat iron. I, I just guess to hope this works. I'm gonna use my flat iron to try and give the end a little more straightened. I just hope it works. But anyway, guys, let's get right into it. I started off by untwisting my hair. However, my hair is dirty. This is just a twist from an old hairstyle. So I decided to do a neck, another hairstyle before washing it. Anyway, I part my section to do my sweep to the front. So I try to make sure that the front part and half of the back part is part clean as to that area is going to be shown after the completion of the hairstyle. In efforts to slick down the back of my hair, I secure the front area that I'm going to make the sweep by twisting it down out of the way. Anyway, this hairstyle is so detailed i it hardly having much edits so once i turn my camera on when i start videotaping i did not turn it off or pause it to do anything i just do the hairstyle straight so um this video is a more like lengthy video even though it's just this hairstyle seems to be simple but just to show you how you can um how you can sleep down your natural hairstyle or let me say to do certain style because everyone know natural hair don't really take certain things depends on the the um the hair type some hair type take anything any hairstyle but like 4c hairstyle is kind of say difficult not really say difficult but you have to use different products in it to hold it the way that you would like anyway guys after doing so i use some water just to kind of rejuvenate my hair and i started to comb the knots and and everything out of it then i brush it in place and i use my scoochie to catch it in place also and i twist it and i made a little bun at the top then i went over it again and I started to use the comb just to get that precise kind of sweep that I want to the side. You know, I wanted to have that kind of slantish curve go up to where the bun is. So I used the comb and started to put it in place. However, I had to undo it. As you can see, I show you everything. I undo it and make sure that the hair is in the proper direction that I would like anyway as you can see I make sure I use my big brush a lot and also my detailed brush because the as I said this hairstyle is like a sleek down and I want you to see all the steps that I take to achieve this nice 4c hairstyle anyway I went ahead by using my extra strong hair wax after using the gel, I use my extra strong hair wax and I use it all over the the back area and this half side area. And then I use my brush again to brush it in. And using this hair wax, you have to always use in your hair brush because this hair rocks. If you don't know how to go about it, your hair going to look clumpy. So you have to keep on using both the comb and the brush to run right through it. So it would look smooth and 
flatten. I went in with my got to be ultra good invisible styling gel. The reason for doing this is because this gel it does hold your hair fast and it also dry fast so it helps to keep my hair down and make it also look very smooth i reached this stage what i'm going to do i'm going to do the front i'm going to try to suit the front then i use my tie head and tie it and let it dry i'm also going to use a blow dryer to help me dry it fast enough after i get to a stage maybe where it nearly dry i'm adding the hair to get to get this precision sweep what i did i part the hair i use the extra gel wax and each time i use the extra gel wax i use the comb to make that carve or let me say sweep and i sweep it all the way up to the back where the bun is so for this whole for this whole front i part the hair so it's like the more wax in your hair it's better for you to get that carve that i'm looking but also um you can also if you want to change the direction of the hair you can also change it but i'm not in for that right now i'm just doing one thing but just letting you know just letting you know um how this wax work so as you can see guys every time that i make a part i use the comb to comb it in place and I also use the hairbrush over it so the hairbrush brush will smooth it down. And as you can see, I keep on using my finger to help me to get that, um, that sweep that I'm looking. And this is the easiest and the best way to get a natural hair sweep down. Because don't, don't let um, people with their texturize hair feel like them is the only person can get a sweep no natural hair girl can do get sweep <laughs> yeah my natural hair rocks just to get the right kept just to, sorry let me say just to get the right product and your hair is all that you want your style you can do anything with your 4c hair If you were here with me right now, you'd feel, if you just to feel this hair, it is hard as ever. It feel, it feel, um, it feels so hard that I can't use my finger to move it. It's just the comb to run through it and the brush. And you want to know how hard I'm using the brush just to get the brush to go through it to get it, um, smooth. So to get this hairstyle, what you want to make sure that once you're applying the wax, you you apply it front wards, like front way towards your face. Because, you know, you're looking that 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 sweep. Because if you do it like sideways down, you're not going to get this sweep. So you have to brush it front way towards you your face. And each time you, you, you bring it down with a comb, you use the brush over it. So, you know, get that, you give it that precision kind of shape that you are actually looking. I know this video might seem like it's long, but it isn't. It's just the time. And also, I try to make sure that you see everything, every step that I take in this video to create this whole sweep hairstyle. It wasn't hard, but it's a technique for doing this. especially because it's a 4c here and you know it's gonna take more time if it wasn't if it was a, a maybe a different type here or i hear as i said i hear that is that having chemical like hair cream or so would be like an easy one two three but at the same time when doing this hairstyle 
and if you're using gel you have to while adding the gel you have to keep on using the blow dryer or using a, a spritz or a free spray to freeze it in the position that you would want but for this here now which is the natural 4c here you just use the wax and the wax just mold it in place right there and then and you could just complete the whole thing until until it is done then you add in all the other stuff that you want which i use the after using the extra wax here i use the got to be free spray over it and i also before use the got to be free spray I also use the invisible gel or it got to be invisible gel over it first so it could stay in position and get hard and fast and then i use the got to be free spray I try to 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 um make like edges or like carve it, make a little finesse at the front of it. So I actually I use a, a piece of tail comb just to get that kind of you know a little thingy thingy at the front. And then I went over again the end that is leave out after the sweep. I catch it in the bun that I already have. And guys, look at that. Tell me how hard that looked to you. Guys, if you, you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscription button and be a part of the family. And did I inspire you? Tell me. Did I inspire your sister to, well, let me say a natural hair girl, how to do a sweep? <laughs> anyway, guys, just um, like, share, and subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Tell a sister to tell a sister to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I went ahead and I used my blow dryer. As I said, I used a blow dryer to help me to dry it a bit faster. However, I didn't have to use the tie head to tie it down because of the got to be gel and the free spray. So I didn't went through the process of the head tie. I just did all of that and I used a blow dryer and it was nearly dry. So I could just add in my ponytail, guys, and look at that. Tell me what do you think about the whole back area. You see how the hair look? It actually look like I have a, a 4B here, here, isn't it? So I went ahead and I get my, my hair, which is it's a braided hair. I took two out of the six to make a ponytail i used my scoochie to put it in one and i went ahead and i started editing from the opposite side which is the front of my face because you know you want it when it fall over fall right in place anyway guys as i said in the beginning i said i was going to use the flat iron however <laughs> i did use a flat iron and that was a fail that was a complete fail the hair almost catch a fire <laughs> anyway um i know um the package read that um whatever but you know normally sometimes you still can try it, but that was a complete fail i mean the the flat iron burned the hair right <laughs> Anyway, I use um, my got to be, no, before I use a got to be, I take out a piece of hair because, you know, you want to hide the scoochie and everything. And guys, don't do like me. I set the whole ponytail at different angles. So that's why you're actually seeing the scoochie. So what I had to do was um, I take out a piece and I wrap it around to hide it. Then after I finished, it was still kind of showing like so i take out another piece and i wrap it around just to make sure it is you know looking well discreet and you know so i comb the hair out you know actually this hair is a very nice hair it's not hard to handle as i said this hair is a very light hair especially if i had to use hot water in this hair in this ponytail right now with a whole complete different look it'll look more fluffier but however as i said it's a ponytail and i didn't want to ruin, ruin the look that i'm actually trying to achieve so i just use a hair 
to wrap around hide you can actually see that you don't even see the scoochie anymore because you know the hair is hide and it look very nice and after doing it you know i don't trust this because my hair is natural and i don't trust the gut to be so i still use a two hairpin just to secure the end and area <laughs> And guys, look at that. Tell me what do you think about this whole hairstyle. Then I went in with my big comb again. And what I did, I spray the got to be on the comb and run it through the hair so you won't have the hair flying all about. Because don't forget, this is a braided hair and it's going to fly. So that's what I did to get it down so the hair won't fly all over the place. Don't forget to leave your comment down below i'll be in the comment section tell me if you're gonna try this hairstyle tell me did it did it look easy was it satisfying to watch tell me what do you think do you think that the ponytail it is worth the while because a lot of people only think that a braided hair can only do a plat ponytail but actually, you have to know how to do it to let it be a loose ponytail. Tell me about the whole look. Tell me about the hair, the hair color. T guys, just say something. Just tell me what do you think about this hair, guys. Tell me. Tell me. Who did? Who say that um, 4C hair can't make um, a nice hairstyle? Who say that? They got to be lying. <laughs> They got to be lying. Don't forget. Don't, don't, don't. Don't forget to try this hairstyle. Tell me how long did it take you. What all the procedure you went through. And don't forget to tag me in it. And guys, see you in my next video. Don't forget to hit that subscription button. And bye.